now it's lit. Now we just wait for the water to boil, and then throw in the cell phone. Let's watch. Time to add the cell phone to the pod. As you can see, it's on. We're going to take the battery back out and throw it under the water and see what happens. Let's watch. Oh, and um, by the way, the water is now at 210 degrees, um, and we're going to go throw the phone in. sink all the way to the bottom. Let's try to fish it out. Well, the heat's turned off, it's going to take a little while to cool down, and then we'll just see how our uh, cell phone came out, shall we? Right now the temperature is about 205 degrees Fahrenheit in the crawfish pot. I remember we added the special scientific foam. Oh, hang on, phone call. Hello? Well, well we had to um, take that phone call using the non-boiled cell phone. So right now the water is about 205 degrees. We turned off the crawfish pot. And um, let's take a look at what the cell phone looks like now. Oh, oh, oh that's right, don't forget. Uh, yeah, we added the scientific foam, right? We added the science fuzz. And uh, we also added the uh, pepper. So we added the science foam and the pepper and into the pot down here. And we also added the crawfish spices. We need the crawfish spices uh, whenever you're boiling a cell phone. Very important. Let's fish it out right now and take a look at it, and then we'll throw it back in. Oh, oh the other thing is uh, you have to have the special cell phone boil remover tool. Very important. Here's the cell phone, right here. Um, it's in pretty bad shape, but it smells great. Let's put it back in to soak up some of those special scientific spices. Okay, so we'll give that a good soak and uh, let the water get down to about 200, and, um, 200 degrees and uh, see what happens. As you can see, it's been about um, oh, 15 minutes since we last spoke. The water temperature has dropped down a little bit. You can see it's about um, 150 degrees. Just not too bad. Let's take the phone out and see how the spices have cooked. Okay. Well, there it is. What's happened in the funnel is that the plastic coating peeling off the lens a little bit, and it's full of water. You can see that. But, it's getting there. It's just about cooked. We'll uh, let the water drip out of it for a little while longer. 
then um, plug the battery back in. It's been about an hour since our last little video visit. Let's take a look at our phone, shall we? You can see it still looks like a regular phone. Just a little bit of water in it. Kind of looks like it might work. Maybe not. We'll plug a battery back in and see what happens. Here's the battery pack. Here's the phone. Here's the power button. Nope. So much for that. One phone still looks decent enough, but is dead and full of water. We'll drain this out tomorrow and then see what happens. Well, for GBS TV, this is the user of Subgenius saying, boil them if you got them, and if you don't, steal them from somebody else. Bye. I'm the internet, a GBS TV.